In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 4, verses 5 through to 42. So we came to a city of Samaria, which is called Sicha, near the plot of ground that Jacob had gave to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was there. Jesus, therefore, being wearied from his journey, sat thus by the well. It was about the sixth hour. A woman of Samaria came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God, and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob, who gave us the well, and drank from it himself, as well as his sons and his livestock? Jesus answered and said to her, Whoever drinks of this water will thirst again. But whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water, springing up into everlasting life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water that I may not thirst, nor come here again to draw. And Jesus said to her, Go, call your husband and come here. The woman answered and said, I have no husband. And Jesus said to her, You have well said, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one whom you have now have is not your husband. In that he spoke truly. And the woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is a place where one ought to worship. And Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship, for the salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming, and now is, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and and truth. The woman said to him, I know that the Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When he comes, he will tell us all things. Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am he. And at this point his disciples came, and they marveled that, the, that he talked with a woman, yet no one said, why do you seek? Or why are you talking with her? The woman then left her water pot, went her way into the city and said to the man, Come, see a man who told me all things that I have ever did. Could this be the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came to him. In the meantime, his disciples urged him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, 
I have food to eat of which you do not know. Therefore the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him anything to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me, and to finish his work. Do you not say, There are still four months, and then comes the harvest? Behold, I say to you, Lift up your eyes and look at the fields, for they are already white for harvest. And when, and he who reaps receives wages and gathers fruit for eternal life. But both he who sows and he who reaps may rejoice together. For in this the saying is true, one sows and another reaps. I send you to reap that for which you have not laboured, others have laboured, and you have entered into their labours. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman and testified, He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them. He stayed there through two days. And many who believed because of his own word. Then they said to the woman, Now we believe, not because of what he said, for we ourselves have heard him, and we know that this is indeed the Christ, the Saviour of the world. In the Gospel reading today from St. John, it is so full of things that we need to think about and to read, to read over again. It's the story about the Samaritan woman. You may be aware that the Samaritans and the Jews didn't really get on. And they don't talk. And this is what surprised the Samaritan woman. That there is this Jew coming up to me, asking me for some water. And it shocked her. Then, of course, Jesus said to her that he had water for her. And it was living water. And of course the woman thought, well, if I have this living water, I won't have to come here again in the heat of the day and draw more out. Not truly understanding what he meant. It is so full, this reading. Whoever drinks of the water that I shall give him will never thirst. But the water that I shall give him will become in him a fountain of water springing up into everlasting life. And then we talk about food later on. And surprised the apostles too, thinking, well, someone has given him some food to eat. And he said, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. We have food and we have water. It is for our souls living water and bread. My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. This reading really needs to be read again. 
And I urge you all to do that. To take in the word of God, our food, and to drink of the word, our living water. We don't do that. We will thirst and hunger again. It's why it's so important, especially during this time of the year, that we read the scriptures, take it in. It is our food, the living water. We take it into our souls and it swells back up again to go out to all those we come in contact with. So during this great Lent, feed your soul with the food of the Word of God, the living well that will never thirst again by consuming this. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.